A group of researchers at Pratt Institute set out to find a natural and sustainable solution which can help address the impact of drought on food security. With the help of people from all kinds of specialist backgrounds, they discovered and developed a solution which requires no land, no fresh water and no fertiliser to grow. AcroSteady is where agriculture meets aquaculture. It's a collaboration between chemists and designers. It's sustainable, it's biodegradable. So AcroSteady is this product that you can put in soil and it balances soil moisture. It's a hydrogel and it's made from seaweed. And we are developing it to help farmers keep the crops safe. I was approached by Cindy and Helio about the AquaSteady project and they were looking for a seaweed farming expert. Sugar kelp is native to Long Island, but our stocks are greatly diminished. So we're reintroducing through aquaculture a native plant. Kelp is amazing for a lot of reasons. One thing I'll point out with kelp is its incredible growth rates. When we grow it here on Long Island, we'll go in about a five month span of time from a millimeter to over 12 feet long. With those incredible growth rates, the kelp is extracting and sequestering lots of nitrogen and a lot of carbon out of the system. So as an environmental tool to help remove these excess nutrients, it's a brilliant solution. Another wonderful thing about kelp is that it can be sustainably farmed. We'll collect some reproductive tissue from wild populations and make spores release from this tissue. Those spores we set on string. And after a couple weeks in our hatchery where we grow up these tiny little sporophytes, we'll take the seed string out to the field and seed horizontal lines on which the kelp will grow. After the kelp has been harvested, the samples are sent to the lab to be transformed into a hydrogel and take shape as a tool for optimizing soil health. It comes in different forms, so we can create a net, we can create it as powder. We can basically create any form that would be needed for a given application. We are getting the samples in the powder form, and we use that powder material to study the water absorption capability or kind of swelling ratio. And basically we are trying to understand how we can optimize and manipulate these alginate-based polymers to make a better water-absorbing material. Big part of this project is not uh, pure science, but it's actually applied science. The invention will be turned into a product and to something that other people can use at potentially very large scale. And this is nothing but a sugar-based giant molecule, a polymer. We can modify them, we can value add them. We take seaweed and we create it into something that can be used again in nature. So kelp is a way that nature can help nature. Now the kelp has been created into a hydrogel, it can be used on farms to assist the soil in water regulation, providing sustainable economic benefits for the farmers. So we had a problem with drought last year. We lost our second and third plantings of summer squash. I think it was because of the drought. I mean, we had a three month period without rain. So we're gonna do a study utilizing this product to see if the plants that are planted with the gel are healthier. It lessens the need for irrigation. It enables the soil to do what it does at its peak health, which is to hold moisture or release moisture. That's what this gel assists in. The advantages of using ocean products in farming, a little bit goes a long way. We've been using seaweed in our compost pile. Over the years, the plants get healthier and more productive. There's more trace minerals in a square foot of ocean than you would ever find in a square foot of soil. Nós estamos numa unidade produtora de citros no Brasil, é, onde nós é, temos aproximadamente é, 7 milhões de plantas, das quais, para renovação dos, dos pomares, nós é, efetuamos o plantio anual de algo em torno de 300 mil mudas, 300 mil plantas em renovação desses pomares. 
E um grande desafio é otimizar o uso da água. É, a água é um bem muito precioso e que nós temos que otimizar esse uso cada vez mais. Então, esse é um, um dos grandes desafios, é otimizar esse uso da água. Além de redução de custo, é, isso nos traz um, uma, um benefício em relação à sustentabilidade ambiental. AquaStudy has been a collaboration between a diverse group of people from varied sectors, which they feel has been a great benefit to the project as they look to the future for AquaStudy's potential. The biggest reason that this project is important for an institute like Pratt because it requires interdisciplinary understanding of the subject matter, of research, and looking at research from different lens. And if AquaSteady is to be a solution, we need to scale it up. We need to scale the farming up. The way that we're, we're farming a crop like sugar kelp that has so many applications, requires no fresh water, no fertilizer, and no land, is really where we're moving as humans with increasing population and food demand. When we succeed, people will be able to use our product on their farms and that will make their life and work easier and also it will provide more food, help address food security issues around the world and at the same time provide a new industry with economic benefits to coastal communities here on Long Island and beyond.